Let's go exploring, running and soaring Around Imagine Island We'll find some fun under the sun Shining on Imagine Island Friends are always there, they always care Come on, let's meet our friends Let's go exploring, running and soaring Around Imagine Island We'll find some fun for everyone Here at Imagine Island Let's go! Oh, hello everybody! Welcome to Imagine Island! I have something very special to show you. Jack, what special thing are you going to show us? It's, it's in my... Booster, something keeps buzzing near my ear. What's buzzing near your ear, Jack? I don't know. But here it is again! It reminds me of that story about the pesky mosquito. Let's find Amanda and read the story about the pesky mosquito. That's a great idea. The Pesky Mosquito, written by Sue Fay, illustrated by Jim Madsen. The pesky mosquito flew. He flew near a rock. He flew around my sock. He flew into a tree. Then, he flew straight up to me. The pesky mosquito flew. He flew down by my chair. He flew up by my hair. He flew left to the log. Then, he flew right to a gulp. That was a great story. <laughs> I think a pesky mosquito is buzzing in my ear. Stand very still, Jack, and we'll see if a mosquito is buzzing near your ear. I'm going to stand very still. What is it? It isn't a mosquito. Do you know what it is? Jack, it's some other kind of insect that can fly. We need to learn about insects that can fly. Chloe will help us. Let's learn about wild animals. Bug. Butterfly. Lizard. Snake. Spider. Each of these pictures of wild animals fits in one of these puzzle spaces. Click a picture to hear its name. Will you help me do this? Butterfly. Now move the picture of the butterfly into the puzzle space it matches. Does it go here? Is this the right one? This one? I think you're right. Butterfly. Say butterfly. Bug. Is this the right one? This one? Bug. Say 
bug. Lizard. Is this the right one? Lizard. Say lizard. Snake. This one? This one? I think you're right. Snake. Snake. Spider. This must go here. Spider. Say spider. You learned some new words. Let's put them in your word book. Bug. Butterfly. Lizard. Snake. Spider. That was so cool. We learned about two insects that can fly. This is important information. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to show you what I found for the museum. What do you have for the museum? It's invisible ink. What do you do with invisible ink? You write secret messages. Look, I'll show you. Invisible ink. I wrote invisible ink. Sizzling circuits. The words disappeared. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm going to put the invisible ink in the museum. Ah! Oh, the flying insect is back! Oh no! Jack, the ink is all over you. Jack, Jack, where are you? I'm here, Booster! Can't you see me? No, Jack. I think the invisible ink has made you invisible. I, I'm invisible? Booster, what am I going to do? Jack, we need help. Yes, I need help. Hmm. The words invisible, ink, and insect all start with the letter I. We need to learn about the letter I. We had better hurry and find Chloe. Jack is in trouble. Capital I. Say capital I. I. Capital I. I. Inchworm. Put your finger on the circle. Trace. Capital I. 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 Capital I. I, I. This is the word inchworm. Inchworm begins with capital I. Look at the letters. Click all the capital I's. Is this the letter I? How about this one? Is this the letter I? Capital I. Amazing! Is this the letter I? How about this one? Capital I. Fabulous job! Oh, great job! Now you know about the letter I. Inchworm, invisible. Jack, Jack, I can see your feet. Can you see my feet? You can? Jack, <laughs> you're back. We can see all of you. Phew! I'm glad you can see me. Well, I'm glad I can see me. <laughs> oh, Booster, show us a capital letter I. This letter by itself means the person is talking about himself. I am talking to you. <sighs> uh. 
where's the invisible ink for the museum? Jack, I don't see the invisible ink anywhere. I think it's still invisible. <gasps> Can you see it? You can't? Oh, no invisible ink. What am I going to bring to the museum? Jack, you don't have any invisible ink for the museum, so use your imagination. Think about something special you would like to find for the museum. That's a great idea. I will use my imagination and think of something to bring to the museum. Hmm. No. <gasps> now it's time for action. Imagination and imagine both start with the letter I. Let's go find Chloe and learn more about the letter I. Okay, Jack, can we sing a song as we go? Yes, Booster. Let's sing, There Was a Little Turtle. There was a little turtle who lived in a box. He swam in the puddles and climbed on the rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at the flea. He snapped at the minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Oh, that was terrific. Did you like that song? I liked that song. Come on, Chloe is waiting for us. Remember, capital I. Each letter is written in two ways. This is small. I say I. It has the same sound as capital I. 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 Inchworm. Put your finger on the circle. Trace I. I. I, I, I. This is the word inchworm. Inchworm begins with I. Look at the letters. Click all the I's. Is this the letter I? How about this one? Is this the letter I? I. Fabulous job! Is this the letter I? How about this one? I. Yes! <laughs> I think I've got it. I. Igloo. Igloo starts with the letter I. I will bring an igloo back to the museum. What's an igloo? Hmm. An igloo is a house made out of blocks of snow. How will you bring a house made from blocks of snow to the museum? Booster, we'll put a rope around the igloo and pull it back to the museum. This was a good idea, Jack. <laughs> Thank you, Booster. An igloo is very interesting. Uh-oh. Jack, look at the igloo. What's the matter with the igloo? Oh no, the igloo is melting. <sighs> yes, the igloo is melting. The igloo belongs in a place that is cold. Maybe we need to learn about the words cold and hot. Chloe can teach us those words. Let's play with some describing and action words. Click one of these pictures to see it move.
Let's click here first. Poor. This picture shows an action. Poor. Poor. Say poor. Now you'll hear the action word in a sentence. I am pouring the milk. Now click one of these pictures. Hot. Cold. This picture shows two describing words. Hot. Cold. Hot. Say hot. Cold. Say cold. The butter is hot. The butter is cold. These words are totally different from each other. They are opposites. Now you try some pictures. Click a picture to see it move. Cook. Cook. Say, cook. I am cooking the eggs. Now click one of these pictures. Round. Square. Round. Say, round. Square. Say, square. The bread is round. The bread is square. Great job! <laughs> you know a lot of English words. Oh, the museum is not cold enough for an igloo. Jack, we learned some useful words, but I'm afraid the museum is not cold enough for an igloo. Imagine something else for the museum, Jack. Booster, what do you say if you want someone else to imagine something for the museum? Let's ask Mike what you say if you want to ask someone else to imagine something for the museum. Let's learn to say, it's your turn. It's your turn. Your turn. <laughs> it's your turn.
Can you hear me? Now show me what you can do. Don't forget to speak up. It's your turn. 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 Say it's your turn. Goodbye. Good job, everybody. You know how to say it's your turn. Booster, it's your turn to imagine finding something for the museum. Okay, Jack. I imagine that we find an iguana, and then we bring it to the museum. That's a great idea. Hmm. We'll find an iguana. How will we get the iguana to the museum, Jack? Well, we'll put a rope around it and lead it back to the museum. This was a good idea, Booster. Iguanas are very interesting. <sighs> Jack, look at the iguana. What's the matter with the iguana? Oh. Oh. Run! Booster, run! Oh. oh my, that iguana grew very big. The iguana grew too big to be in the museum. <laughs> no igloo, no iguana, <sighs> no invisible ink. Let's <sighs> listen to Amanda's story again. It might give us an idea about what to get for the museum. The Pesky Mosquito, written by Sue Fay, illustrated by Jim Madsen. The pesky mosquito flew. He flew near a rock. He flew around my sock. He flew into a tree. Then he flew straight up to me. The pesky mosquito flew. He flew down by my chair. He flew up by my hair. He flew left to the log. Then he flew right to a gulp. You did a great job. <sighs> but I still don't have anything for the museum. Oh no! The flying insect is back! Jack, keep very still. <gasps> what does it look like? It's... it's long and narrow. It's long and narrow. It has... Six legs and two sets of wings. If it's long and narrow, with six legs and two sets of wings, then it's a dragonfly. Can you see it? You can? It's very beautiful. Jack, the dragonfly is flying away. Oh, do you see the dragonfly? You do? What? O over here? Oh, here it is. Jack, the dragonfly found the invisible ink. <gasps> You're right! The dragonfly found the invisible ink! Now I can take the invisible ink and put it in the museum! <laughs> Jack, it's time to go. Oh. You're right. This has been a great day. We learned about the letter I. We saw a dragonfly. <laughs> I was invisible. And we learned to say, it's your turn. We learned some useful words. Butterfly. Bug. Spider. 
lizard, snake, poor, cook, round, square, hot, cold. Oh, and I found some invisible ink for the museum. <laughs> Thank you for your help. See you next time on Imagine Island. This program has been brought to you by Imagine Learning. For more information, visit us at www.imagineisland.com. Let's go exploring, running and soaring around Imagine Island. We'll find some fun under the sun, shining on Imagine Island. Friends are always there, they always care. Come on, let's meet our friends. Chloe! Pete! Amanda! Mike! Let's go exploring, running and soaring around.